Good morning, brothers and sisters. It's Palm Sunday, and I just got out of church. This is the little park on the on the drive home from the church. I just thought I would share these trees with you and speak for a minute about the devil attacking us. I believe that the devil is really, really knows his time is short, and he's going. He's in an all-out battle against true Christians. He's waging an all-out spiritual battle. I really do believe that. I'm being hit with, I'll get like into this terror, having a terribly depressed day. I mean a really, really heavy sense of depression on me. And then I'll be all right for a couple of days. And then it'll hit me again. And no, I don't have a mood disorder. I don't have mood swings or a mood disorder normally. I mean, and, and this is like never before. And I truly believe with all my heart that it's an attack from the enemy. I think he knows that we're about to get raptured. He senses it too, maybe. Maybe he does, because I think people are really undergoing some terrible spiritual attacks. Like a friend of mine says she's going through it too, and then another friend of mine said that her pastor told her that this past week was the wor like the worst week of his whole life. I mean, I really think the devil is attacking us. He's hitting us where it hurts. And, like, I'll have this spirit of depression come over me. And part of it, I think, is because I know we're going to get raptured soon. And I'm really feeling it, a great sadness for the lost souls, the people that will be stuck here on this earth during the terrible tribulation. But another part of it is, is I truly believe the devil's trying to drag me down. He's trying to drag me down into the pits of despair, and which, of course, will make you concentrate on yourself and what you're feeling, on your feelings, you, you, you. You know, he's trying to make it be all about you, 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 when you want to keep your mind on the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. And he's, like, really fighting to, to hit us with issues that are going to take our thoughts away from Jesus and take our thoughts away from serving because we're in so much pain. We're in pain and we're in suffering. And that keeps your mind on yourself. It keeps your mind right on yourself. So we've got to fight this. I believe a lot of you out there are going through this too. And we've got to just fight that tooth and nail. Don't let him win. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And you can't let him win. You've got to stand up and rebuke that. Whatever he's putting you through, you've got to rebuke that. And you've got to fight it. Because we need to serve the Lord until the very last minute that we get raptured. We need to keep reaching out to the lost. And using that time to the very last minute. And... Let us not be swayed by what whatever the devil is, his devices to, to keep our minds on ourselves and having a pity party for ourselves. We've got to really, really fight this because we're about to get raptured. I believe it with all my heart and he's doing his utmost to drag us down. Nasty boy wants to drag us down into the pit so that we'll keep our mind on ourselves. Okay, so just fight this. Just rebuke it with all your might. And, and the best way that you can fight it is to rebuke it and keep your mind on Jesus. Try to pray more. Try to read His Word more. Try to seek His presence more. Seek His holy presence. Seek the presence of the Lord more. And that's about the only way that we can fight it, you know. And we've got to fight this because it is a battle. It is a spiritual battle. And I believe it's at its worst right now. It's always the darkest before the dawn. Well, it, it stands to reason that the devil's attacks will be the worst right before we go home. That only makes sense. And so I think that's what this is coming from. And I know a lot of people are going through it. And let's pray for each other and let's help each other out. You know, put, put in the comments whatever comment you might want to make. You know, testify to others. Give a testimony to others that you're having attacks also. 
and like I've had attacks, a couple of attacks in my sleep, you know, demonic attacks, and we've got to fight that, you know, whatever demonic attack you might have in your sleep like that, just call out to Jesus, and they will flee at his name, the, de the demons tremble at his name, and they have to flee, they have to go, they have to go at the name of Jesus. Just call on the name of Jesus and rebuke it and command it to go, and it will go. So, you know, just do that if you're being attacked in your sleep, or I feel like I'm even being attract, attacked in my dreams, because the last, like, two weeks, I've had two really terrible dreams. I mean, terribly depressing dreams. And I usually don't dream at all, except for once in a while I'll receive a dream from the Lord. But I mean, this this was not from the Lord. This These two dreams were not from the Lord. Um, I feel they were indeed from the enemy. And I think he can attack you through your dreams too. And it's demonic. It's just all demonic. And the devil's just running rampant right now to kill, steal, and destroy, to take away your happiness, to bring you down. He wants to bring you down so that you are useless right now with the rapture right around the corner. He wants you to be useless. He wants to, you to, like, wallow in self-pity or, you know, let yourself keep focused on your own self. That's what he wants. Don't let him win. Don't let him have that. Okay, we need to stand up for Christ and rebuke that and just stay close to him and let's all try to help each other. Okay, I'm going to say a prayer. Let me put this over here. My arm's getting tired. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to say a prayer right now for all of us. Father God, we know our time is short here, Lord. We know you're about to come soon, Lord. Lord, I pray for every person within the sound of my voice, Father, that you would empower them and strengthen them. Fill them with your Holy Spirit, Father. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Give them your strength. They can do all things through you who strengthens them. Lord, give them the strength to fight the devil, to fight his devices that he's coming at us with. And just give us the power. Give us the Holy Ghost power over the enemy. Give us power to rebuke him and command that he go away and leave us alone. Father, let us stay close to you. Let us turn this around on the devil, Lord. Let us turn it around and let his attacks only serve to draw us closer to you, Lord Jesus. Keep us safe under the wings of the Almighty, Father. Give us strength. Lord, lift us up. Give us strength. Pour your Holy Spirit out on us, Father. Give us strength. Let your Holy Spirit minister to our hearts. Let your Holy Spirit lift up our hearts and edify us and give us strength. Pour out your love on us, Father. Give us your strength. We are weak, Lord, but you are strong, and we know that we can get through this, Lord, with your help. And if we just stay close to you, Father, pour out your love on us and give us strength and make it to, through to that finish line, Lord. We know that you are so close, Lord. We can feel your nearness every day. We can feel how near you are. Lord, I know that you want to take us up soon, Father. I know you want to get us out of here soon, Father. Give all of us the strength to bear it, Father. And let us all help each other. Let us pray for each other, Father. And let us lean on you most of all, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we pray that you would come soon. We pray that the lost would come to you right now. Lord, give us the Spirit, Holy Spirit power to witness, Lord. Give us the power to witness and to reach out, to keep reaching out. Let us not faint nor be weak. Let us keep reaching out to others with every moment that we still have here, Lord Jesus. And let us rest in you, Father. Let the devil be rendered useless. Let his, his ploys and his devices be rendered useless against us, Lord. Um, Father, I pray that you would just keep us all close under your wings, Lord, and safe. In Jesus' holy name, please help us to make it through to the finish line, Father. We love you so much, Father God. Please come quickly, Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys, just stay strong here and, you know, just look up. Your redemption draws nigh, okay? 
all those signs in Matthew 24. And then after that, the signs are all here and they have been for years, you guys. We know he's at the door. He's at the door. I heard that doorbell ring this morning and there was no one at the doorbell. It was the Lord telling me again that he's at the door. And after the signs in Matthew 24, it says that when you began to see these things all happening, to look up because your redemption draws nigh. Well, the operative word in that sentence is begin. When, when you begin to see these things happen. It doesn't say when they've been going on for years on end. It says when they begin to happen, to look up, your redemption draws nigh. So we know that Jesus is at the door just by virtue of that. We know that he's about to come soon. So just hang in there, you guys. I love you all so much. I pray that this helps someone. Just stay close to the Lord. That's all we can do. Just stay close to him, cling to Jesus, and look up. I love you all. Goodbye for now.